All right, Coach, you guys have been on the field now for a few days. What are your overall impressions of how the guys came back and how they're uh, adjusted to the defense? Um, as a defensive, on the defensive perspective, uh, I'm really proud of the progression they're taking. Some of these uh, veterans, you know, they're leading these young guys. Uh, we have a handful of young guys we're anticipating coming in and uh, helping us uh, with a good amount of snaps. And, uh, you know, we test them and quiz them and push them uh, each and every day. And you know, I'm proud of the progression they're making right now. So we're excited about it. What are some of the biggest adjustments for a new player uh, to get on uh, to understand in your defense? Um, really, you know, making that, you know, we talk about solid rock defense around here and, you know, making that commitment and sacrificing and being disciplined as a person both on and off the field. And, you know, we, we challenge them and we push them mentally. And that's the big thing for some of these young guys. You know, they come from certain, whether they come from a good program or not, you know, it's just a different transition as far as studying the game, studying the film, studying your position and knowing what it takes to actually, you know, get on the field, to have consistent play. And, you know, I, we're really pushing them to do it, and, and they're, I think they're getting better at it each and every day. So we just got to keep working with them. What adjustments have you had to make now that you are the defensive coordinator? How have you approached this year and how you go about coaching things? Um, my second year in now with it, uh, last year co, this year uh, the, the DC, but the organization of it, you know, uh, Dylan, uh, being from a player from Coach Lopez, you know, he was very organized and, you know, systematic. Every Everything he did had an approach to it, a process and a progression. And, you know, learning from him it helped me out a lot, obviously, um, trying to do things that he has done and also, you know, going around places uh, each summer and learning from others, trying to implement my own deal with it. But the organization of it, the time management, and really now I'm starting to be the whole picture guy instead of just a secondary. Um, managing this personnel and these kids are I love them I love working with them they're a blast and they teach me a lot of stuff each and every day kids coming from all over the, the country and uh, mixing in with different cultures it's definitely a great experience and you know we're definitely uh, fortunate you know, to be here and blessed to have everybody out here but um, that managing that personnel managing the team and uh, getting everybody on the same line at the same time it's uh, being organi organized with it all is definitely a big help all right, and lastly, uh, you still have a ways to go before that September 1st game. What are some of the things that you're trying to get ready for and focus on um, as you prepare to play here in just a few weeks? Uh, it's, it's the simple things. You know, Coach Lopez uh, keeps saying we got to do the simple things better than everybody else. And, and really, with defense, it, there's no difference. Um, you know, we talk with our guys, you've got to be able to line up. You've got to know your assignment each and every snap. I mean, it, it's not hard. We talk about asset football, you know, alignment, assignment, start and stance, effort and tackle. You know, all that except tackling requires, you know, shoulders up. You know, it doesn't require much physical tools. And uh, with our guys, we preach it every single day. It's the simple things. Line up where you're supposed to line up. Know your assignment. Get in a good stance. Get in a good start. Bust your tail. Get to wherever you got to be. You know, it doesn't take much to give effort. And then that last little 10% is that tackling. It's a big part on defense especially. But, you know, we preach some little things to these guys. And, you know, coming into clearing game one, you know, Coach Foster does a great job with those guys. And, and they lost some guys. But I'm, I know they're going to be ready to uh, fight fight their tail off come game one. Um, we will be as well. And um, we're definitely excited for that, for that matchup.